When you think of food allergy, particularly when it comes to children, peanuts are probably the first thing that springs to mind. But many children have trouble with milk. Now, while most food allergy treatments involve avoiding all traces of the offending substance, researchers are now trying to see if they can blunt the immune reaction to milk with milk. This is not, I repeat, not something to try at home. It's potentially dangerous, but under carefully controlled conditions, could be promising. For the children that I'm talking about, these are kids who have rash, vomiting, wheezing with milk exposure. So they're from six to 18 years old and they're children who typically have had an anaphylaxis to milk allergy in the past. They're uh, pretty severely allergic. In the past, they've shown that giving slowly increasing doses of milk under the tongue is more effective than placebo when it comes to reducing allergic reactions to milk. It's got to be done really carefully because the treatment itself can induce symptoms which need to be treated. Now what they're trying to do is improve the safety and find different ways of giving the milk. Typical case, I saw a patient yesterday for my study and before the study, he had accidentally had a sip of his sister's milk and then had trouble breathing, vomiting, and required uh, shots of epinephrine or adrenaline. Typically kids do grow out of milk allergy, although we've shown here that it seems that people are growing out of milk allergy less than they used to and for reasons that we don't really understand. So we see a large population of children with severe milk allergy, although it's definitely it's less common than peanut allergy. Tell me about this study you've been doing. We're comparing a couple of different methods of immunotherapy for milk allergy. Immunotherapy is just building up um, from small doses of milk to high doses of milk. And we're studying in children who have pretty severe milk allergy. In this study, we're comparing two different methods of um, immunotherapy, a sublingual where we give it under the tongue and hold it there, and then a powder where we swallow it. And what sort of results are you getting? Well, we're still on the preliminary results, but we have um, some children who are able to talk who were very allergic before, who are after six weeks off are now still able to tolerate. We've had some loss of tolerance over a short of a period of, of one week, but most children are able to introduce milk and um, some amount into their diet after the study. Most people are able to tolerate an amount of milk that they can have it in their diet. There are so many forms of foods that have small amounts of milk that it's uh, that people can really maintain and titrate it better than they can, let's say, peanut. It's an easier approach for milk than it is for peanut to include small amounts in your diet. So does that mean that successfully treated children will have to keep taking milk in their diet so that the effect doesn't wear off? We think that's a really important question and we are exploring that in the study that I'm doing right now. So in this study, children who are able to tolerate a full serving of milk at the end of treatment, which is about 15 months, of a daily same dose every day. We stop it and we test them that time and then a week later and then six weeks later to see whether it lasts. When you walk down the aisle at the supermarket, there's all kinds of milk to choose from, skim, regular, etc. Is there any types of cow's milk that are best when it comes to allergy? No, as far as that goes, no. That's all relates to the fat or lact you know, lactose free is about the sugars, but the proteins are what you're allergic to. There are, um, is evidence that cooking milk makes it less allergenic and maybe mixing it with wheat and other foods makes it a little bit less allergenic in that cooking process. So this isn't something you'd try at home, is it? No, I think it's really not ready for general use. Even actually in the general allergist clinic is probably not ready because the studies that we do are very time intensive and we do have see serious side effects that require treatment. I think that uh, we need, are, have a ways to go into it, making this a really safe method that could be tried.